Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Close Combat Last Time on him. I'm my ninja and let's begin. So, 6 a.m. turn, so a whole bunch of German reinforcements have turned up equally, so a whole bunch of ours have turned up as well. Uh, <coughs> not super sure. I think over here we're going to have to trade out this Grenadier Guards company for a new 30 core unit basically, because we're just kind of running out of tanks that can actually affect these panthers whereas these guys have a whole full complement of Sherman Fireflies still so it's going to cost us a little bit of time but I think it's going to be worth it in the long run most likely uh, in the center I think we're just going to leave the US airborne units to kind of deal with these guys and I think there's going to be a huge amount of trouble we might even Hmm. Trying to know how, whether we should bring another unit back to hold Dryhusen. Because we don't want them cutting the road. If we can help it. As we wait and see, because we can always just pull these guys back instead. Uh, and yeah, 30 calls going to keep going forward. Like so, we'll bring these guys across the river as well. I don't think we'll need our second river crossing. This turn, I don't think we'll need it at all, and especially not this turn. So we're going to start just pushing out northwards. These guys will be fine on their own, but not fighting a huge amount of enemy stuff. Uh, down here, I'm pretty certain he can't get to the rail bridge from the road bridge. I don't believe. Uh, these guys are obviously all kind of locked in. Well, they might want to. Look at trading these guys out sometime sooner rather than later. Uh, over here, this is all fine still. So our support elements. So we can use our airstrike on West Arnhem. That's just in case I'm wrong, we'll put our other airstrike on the rail bridge. I don't think I am. I always get it back if I am. Uh, they're going to have that. We're also going to give a mortar strike to these. Uh, actually, we might just give them. Oops, give it to the wrong person anyway. The artillery strike. Uh, maybe give these guys an artillery strike as well. Just in case. Uh, and then we've got a few mortars that we can just kind of scatter around. Just in case any enemies, unexpected enemies turn up. So yeah, so in the south we're just kind of moving forwards again. Over in the centre, still moving forwards and kind of digging in for these Germans to attack. And then up north we just sat where we are obviously. I also realised they were there and they shouldn't be, so we might as well go and take Gilders. See what happens then. So they had two units attack that bridge, they did attack Beak, and they moved into Gross Beak Heights south. Which means that these guys are probably going to, the Welsh guards are probably going to have to hold at Dryhusen then just to return at least. So we can sort that all out. Uh, and the second unit moved in to attack Ginkle Heath, that's fine. Okay. Nader Vettin first then. So we're gonna take in I think we might take the 17 pounder. And the rest of this is fine. Okay, so this is our setup. So we're just using our Fireflies in their normal spot, and our 17 pounds are holding the north road in case they spawn around here. And I think it should be fine on our piats, quite advanced. So, hoping this will be alright, I think it should be. Get our mortars in the correct places. Let's see how it goes, I guess. Okay, so they've front stacked pretty hard. That sounds like my anti tank gun being destroyed already. So, yep, that's a great start. Brilliant. A bit worried about pushing my fireflies further up because they should have two more tanks, I think. One more, two more, maybe. Should actually have an artillery barrage from so hopefully that will be turning up some point. That's the oh nice we can do one there. After it says a Yagpanzer, that's their mortar, so if we can take that out that'll be good. 
completed. Looks like the Yag Pans are actually not going back. I swear, God, there's so many units here. How do we not like anything with these mortars? They missed pretty hard there. Move completed. Come on, they got one shot left. Unbelievable. Did you fire five shots on something and not hit any single one of them? Oh gosh, I think they might be dead. So they're going straight at one of my mortars, that's good. Oh whoa, who he knows it. My knees attacking. Run, Pia, run. Oh god. Nice. Just more unfortunately. We ought to be able to get this Jagdpanzer now with the Firefly, I think. Move completed. Mm. It's a bit risky because I'm basically putting our. Firefly into close combat with a whole bunch of infantry, but I think we'll be fine. Mm. Damn, I was hoping we'd win that duel. Obviously. We might have to take this truce. Yeah. Mm. This has only got a lot more difficult down here, now that we lost that guard's unit's ability to fight properly. Um, we still traded relatively well. Could have done with our 17 pounder doing a bit more, as we said. So of just getting like immediately annihilated. Hmm. We'll see how that one goes in the future though. Right, so a human bridge. We ought to be able to win this. Pretty easy because they're going to be stuck down here spawning. 230 cows. Yeah, sure. That reason not too particularly. Yep, so our setup. We're just basically going to stop them straight away if we can. Uh, we'll see how that goes. For all these trenches. Yep. And we've got an artillery barrage. Going down right on top of them. So our main concern is going to be the MG42s, as always. That's the mortar as well. Well, I guess our main concern is that they just have so many people that we can't take the attrition trades. Because they'll just win doing that. Fortunately, this artillery barrage seems to have worked out pretty nicely for us. To say the least, yeah. Ok, 
Okay, yeah. So they shouldn't have a huge amount left, really. Like, they're at half morale and only a minute and a half into this battle. Way back here. Why are these guys firing at the pin? Cursed MG 42s. Eh? Shouldn't take too much longer, I don't think. Nope. Alright, easy enough. Uh, so the reserve battle group was unable to retreat and forced to disband, that's good. We took two, they took 40 ish, 8, 20, 42, nice. So about 25 to 30 of those were on that artillery brush, so that worked out quite nicely for us. And then the beak, uh, it should all be fine, I think. Beak's a hard one to defend anyway, because it's so um, urban, so. This should be fun. Don't see anything else that I particularly want to take. Okay, so this is our setup, so we're going for a fairly aggressive one, I guess. Well, a bit of a mix, really, because we're, we're aggressive with Dirty Half Dozen and then this MG team. And then everyone else is playing relatively passively. Which really leave my water down here like that. Um, but I think it should be fine. I think it should all work out pretty nicely. Always fun that way. There's quite a lot of them, just like everywhere, basically. Traded kills, man. Mmm, come on. Ugh, more sliding. Just get back onto ambush mode and just wait for them to come across the street house. Should be able to deal with all these guys at close range. Oh, god, a hundred meters away, they can't fire accurately. It's disgraceful. Why would you shoot the last guy in that situation? Now we've got a mortar barrage. Uh, Top or in the forest? I think in the forest because I think up top they might get that. Oh, I don't know, there's so many cuts around me. I'm a bit worried that either it's going to go off the map or it's going to hit people in buildings and it won't be as effective. But I think it's still worth just attacking the highest concentration of enemies. Yeah, looks like it's working out alright. That's them more through as well. Yeah, I think that's, that's pretty good damage from that mortar rush. I'll take it. I think it'd be harder to miss. Not really getting the kind of best use out of this mortar though, because they're hitting them like one at a time occasionally. Which is, you know, really you gotta look and take out two or more at once. How are they missing? God! This uh, mortar has been a profound disappointment. Mm. Oh, there goes a squad leader. Chalk up another one. Hmm. 
maybe shouldn't have done that. Come on! Just hit the one thing for once I want you to actually hit. Amazing. Just... Staggering. Get out of the here, just going to fall back to the cathedral. They've done some damage. But it's time to go. Get out of there. Oh, shot that left hand. Nice. Job danger pumpkin. Whoa. A bit danger close. Nice. I can actually um, do them around here. That should be the last member of that squad. Nice. Yep, good, good, good. A few dirty half dozen. Remember, I'm hoping gets two in the end. That's okay. That's pitiful. Couple, yeah, spread them around basically. More garages, it's like, must have got like ten or so. So it's quite good. Alright, so next up we got Nymagan Bridge. We're already fighting two Stugs now. And we have general control of the map. This shouldn't be too hard. I don't think. What? Okay, so the game is BSing me basically. In that they were actually on the other side of the river last time and it's not letting me deploy them up there. Uh, and I don't I don't have a clue why. Okay, so it's our setup. So it's not letting us deploy any tanks up here for some BS reason, so that's good. So we're having them on the bridge. From this bridge, they can see up here. I think uh, Mighty Man Strong ought to be able to deal with anything up there, uh, even at those kind of ranges. And then we're having everyone else kind of stacked on these bridge down here. It should be fine. Jerry, take cover. Okay, that's one of there. Looks like a small well, is a stud. And everyone's missed. Jerry, take cover. So that's a pretty great start. Pop smoke, not even trying. Oh, we damaged it. Took out the C third position loader, perhaps. One, two, three, gunner. Oh, that's good. Got him. Oh. Literally everyone hit it, I think, on that second volley. So, fair play. Push out a bit. I actually hit them from over here. Oh my goodness. Tanks OP. Ah, there's the second one stuck. It's only stuck three, so we ought to be able to deal with that relatively easily. Pop smoke damaged it. Got him. 
Oh, they're still on the bleeding map way. Fortunately, we captured that one, which I think will let us uh, move off the top now. So we can actually start shuffling uh, units straight through, even though... Oh my god, their morale is low. Okay, I think 30 core might be taking a, an extended rest for a little bit here. Because that is a uh, mad one, I've seen that one before in a unit. Um, but yeah, I think this should allow us to keep shipping units straight through Arnhem now, which is obviously very good. Uh, so we're basically going to have to push them out north and have them rest on the north bank, I think. West Arnhem. Let's we'll go with our normal group. Yeah. Okay, so we're in our normal setup just because our machine gun kind of got hammered last time. We put them on the end of this building instead, which should be a bit safer, I think, but they still have the capacity to do a lot of damage if they come across the, like this. Otherwise, we're going for our usual setup. This will be fine. Possibly it'll be very another very boring battle because they've pretty much just given up attacking as well. Jerry, take cover. My God, we've actually seen someone! Wow, that only took twelve minutes. Jerry, take cover. No, actually, there's two squads here. Interesting. No, two squads are terrible though, sats, but yeah. We really should go on the offensive at some point, um, I think, just because their morale is so low that, well, as you saw there, like we killed one person and they broke immediately and it's right now. Great diggers. Interesting. It's been in St. Elizabeth's room. Yes, yeah, so the entire that squad is basically surrendered now. After we killed one of them. See that half track anyway. I don't know where they've got to. That's blue. It's their mortar farm. It's the real concern. Crap, that's MG42. Time to stop firing. Wait, wait so late. It seems like every time they just spawn like miles off the top of the map or something. So by the time they actually get to us, it's like the end of the battle. It's bizarre. Bizarre, yeah. So we dealt nine and took one, which is pretty good. Uh, KD ratio again. Some water, I guess. Okay, and then finally, I can go Heath. Um, I think we'll be okay unless they spawn on both sides. Oh god. Um, I think we'll be fine anyway. And this will be a fine group. Like with the two machine guns, should be okay. Okay, so this is our setup. I'm not super over the moon about it, but we haven't got a huge amount of squads here. So we're kind of having to. Um, we're basically going to be relying on our Vickers to do the lion's share, and they should be fine to do that. Uh, like, either time we've had like one Vickers over here and it's absolutely ruined everything, or we've had one Vickers appear and it's absolutely ruined everything. So theoretically, even though we're completely split and attack from both sides, we should be fine. 
and everyone else is sort of just covering the gaps. Hopefully we'll be fine. A bit worrying that we haven't seen a single enemy in the open to start the game. And the vicar is not set up. So why would it be? And neither is the mortar, because why would it be? Come on! How are they still seeking cover? You're sat in a building! that there's not very many guards over here. I don't know if that means that they just like whatever for whatever reason they can just like put loads of guys over this side instead or a whole bunch of dudes are just gonna appear on the right side of them. How is there no target? AI in this game sometimes, man, is a uh, effing stupid. Despite our machine guns and mortars idiocy, I think we're probably actually going to come out of this okay. That might be a Zug troop, because they only just called out the Lieutenant. And there's only four of them, whereas most of our scores tend to be six. There's already any real concern over this side, just because if there's a lot of them over here, we're gonna struggle to get them with three guys in a brain group. Come on, machine gun seems to have great fire lines for some reason. Hopefully, we can win the battle on this side of the map though instead. Do you know enough morale damage that it um, breaks them? Looks like that's gonna happen. That's good. I was worried for a bit that the uh, AI would do something clever, like attack through this bit, but it yeah, didn't happen obviously, so that no, was fine. Oh my goodness. Where is that coming from? Alive. Just try to finish off these squads if we can. Just ignore that MG42 basically. You ignore it or go away. Come on, we need to kill like one guy basically and we'll win. Found them finally. Ammunition. Ammunition. Oh, 
Just, just fire! Saving ammo, brilliant. No more to that's on you though, that last guy died. <laughs> really saving ammunition on the first shot. Why would I even be telling you to do it for this? Bunch of Germans doing it right at the end there. Uh, so we dealt those down shit. That's good. Let's take a bit of a pacing on them from the MG42 at the end. It's, yeah, what a surprise. Was it? Okay. Now, so that's the end of the day. Another pretty good day. Taking some fairly substantial casualties that turn, but generally speaking, I think. I mean, won basically every battle. Um, which is kind of what all that we're after. Um, I think we set ourselves up quite nicely for next turn as well. A bit concerned about that 30 core unit, and especially annoyed that we're going to have to leave these guys behind basically because we're taking an aggressive position at Beak. Should be fine. I can't imagine they'll have a huge amount of units in this kind of stretch up here. And as soon as we get them into the Arnhem Rail Bridge, we'll basically be able to run right. We should be able to clear them out of Arnhem and stuff like that. Which would be nice. But anyway, that's all for next time. So join me then. See you later.